I often find myself assembling PCB boards manually that I design for my own R&D activities or for a small number of boards I prepare for sale on Tindy. This process is a little bit painful and error prone. I took a look at the PMP machines for a long time and made researches to make or buy one for myself. But every time I gave up. It frightened me whether it would be accurate enough and the time-consuming preparation phase for each new type of board. After all, I was making dozens from one type of board, not hundreds of the same board. If I need any board around hundreds, I get help from Chinese PCB manufacturers. And there was no enough place in my room for a such large PMP machine. That's why I decided to design a simpler and easier device. PMP Assist helps you to pick and place PCB boards manually. It has a very small footprint on your desk and lightweight to carry away when you're done. It has two numerical controlled motorized and one free rotation axis without any cable disturbing you. The machine will also show you the name, value and the package of the component that you will use on its OLED screen. It's very good practice to use this machine under microscope, but if you don't have a microscope, the red cross laser is also in the case the place of the components. In order for you to feel comfortable while placing the component, you can rotate the machine. Don't worry, your component will stay at the center. Most of the electronics CAM software has the ability to export the PMP mount file, which has the name, X coordinate, Y coordinate, angle, value and the package of the part on the PCB. Export this mount file and save it to an SD card. Let's insert the SD card and power the machine. You are ready to use the machine. I found out that the best solution is use a double-sided tape to fix the board on the machine. The machine has two tabs to guide you to fix the board properly to the machine axis. I built up this machine for myself and enjoy very much while using it. It's quite precise even though it is made at home. I open source all the files for the maker community. Please share your ideas to make this device better. I want to turn this into a product, so any support is appreciated. Thank you.